If you're looking to get a hair transplant in Turkey to restore your hairline, just stop. Right now, just stop and watch this video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Hair Transplant Channel. My name is Joe Tillman and yeah, we're here to talk about hairlines created from Turkish hair transplant clinics. Cow, 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 cow. And it is a big deal, more so now than ever because there are more clinics now more than ever operating out of Turkey. And that's not a good thing because there's already a lot of clinics. Seven years ago when I was first in Turkey, I was there twice in 2015 and I'm headed back there in just a few days. I'll be there for uh, June 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the World FUE Institute Workshop and Hair Restoration Conference at their invitation, which is awfully nice. And I can't wait to go back to see some friends and colleagues and all that good stuff. But I've been looking more at the Turkish hair transplant market in general, especially through my TikToks, which you can see at Hair Loss Guy, check it out. But while doing that, I've been seeing a lot of bad work, more specifically with hairline work. And this is not going to be a video talking about which clinics do the best hairlines. I'm not going to be talking about um, all the factors that make a natural hairline. I'm going to point out hairlines that are only found, for the most part, when patients go to Turkey. And the reason for that is these clinics, I don't, I don't know why they do this, but somehow it manifested and grew out of the idea that hairlines should have closed temples and should be really low. They can be in some cases, but whoever started this just didn't understand how it was supposed to be done. And it's grown out to where all of their patients have a cookie cutter hairline that matches every hairline they've done before. There might be some variations, but they all have the same basic appearance. Low, broad, and very curved down to the temple points, which prevents any sort of natural transition. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this right here. This is something that you don't find in nature. You don't find this on uh, younger people. You don't see this on four-year-old Asian boys no. that have crazy hairlines. You don't see this on women. You don't see, you might see this on monkeys. No. I don't know. But you don't see it on humans. Of any type. And this is a problem. So that's basically what this is about. If you see these kinds of hairlines, you need to forget that clinic. It doesn't matter if you gave a deposit, forget the deposit because that's the best money that you, that you ever lost. Um, we will look at some natural-ish types of hairlines and I'm only talking about the shapes. I'm not talking about the refinement or the use of single hair, none of that. It's only natural looking shapes like this one where you've got the angle where the hairline comes around and then the side in the temple region comes down either straight down. There might be a slight curvature in that juncture there, but then it comes either straight down or it comes forward into the temple point. This is what a natural hairline looks like. <laughs> But the other thing to keep in mind is donor supply. When you're creating these strong, low hairlines, even the ones that are unnatural, you're using a lot of grafts that should be used later on for continued hair loss. Because if you're going in to get a hair transplant because of hair loss, you're probably going to need a second or even a third with continued hair loss. And if you're doing things like this, you're utilizing a lot of hair that can be used for those additional surgeries and now you don't have them. So guess what? You just screwed yourself. Again, like I said, this is not to break down um, what natural hairlines are supposed to look like. It's just what unnatural hairlines, a specific kind of an unnatural hairline looks like, and it only comes from Turkey. You're looking at it right here. So that's it. It's basically just a rant to get this off my chest and to get this out there to you. If you do see these kinds of hairlines at a clinic that you're considering, just forget them. Um, move on to another one. You can look at IAHRS accepted member doctors. You can look at hair transplant mentor doctors or find another doctor on your own. Um, just make sure you're avoiding this kind of design. And after that, there are other things to consider, which we'll talk about in another video. But I had to get this out there 
Hope you thought it was informative and hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.